I would like to talk about pronation because I know pronation is one of the big issue, big story in badminton world. What I agree with the pronation is that pronation is one of the most powerful badminton skill and player should be able to do it. I agree with that. I agree with that too. Many professional players are doing the pronation hitting. No question about that. I'm not saying pronation skill is wrong. Uh, pronation skill is weak. I'm not saying that at all. The reason why I am bringing this thing up is that there are too many fresh players, too many players who are new to badminton, like beginner players and intermediate players, are uh, influenced by this pronation skill far too much. Instead of uh, this pronation skill helping them, many cases I see it give them bad habits and limiting their skills to go higher level. Why I say that? Reason number one. Let's say badminton started here. Let's say 100 years ago, this is now. About 50 years ago, somebody videoed better players, how they hit it. And they found out they are doing pronation. And then it becomes highlighted. Oh yeah, better players are doing pronation. The point I'm making in here is that the pronation is not new skill. Let's say at the point, at the point 50 years, before 50 years, when somebody identified the pronation, is it nobody used the pronation skill before? That's my question. Answer is no. Before somebody first time recorded the players hitting and find out using pronation, the players are already using pronation. When the name of pronation is be even not existed, players are already using that skill. That's my point. How come? Because it's natural to use uh, pronation. It, it is more difficult not to use pronation. Let's say, there is a beginner, completely beginner player. I give him a, a shuttlecock and ask him to serve for three months. What will happen? 100 people who did serve from completely beginner, 95 players will use pronation. Even I didn't show them, even I didn't mention about it, they will hit it with pronation. Why? Because it's natural. The using pronation in badminton is natural. It's the same as a human walk from the heel first. No human walk like that. Why? Because it's not natural. The question I'm making in here is that 
when the player using pronation naturally, there are too many players are doing it in the exaggerated way because they saw it so many times and they hear so many times. So, this player, before he aware about pronation, he's hitting like that, using pronation and hitting naturally. After he saw about the pronation theory and many stories, his hitting action, oh yeah, pronation is this. Yeah, I should do that. So his hitting action changed from that way to that way. It's completely exaggerated. Nobody in badminton, in the higher level, hitting like this, because it's not natural. But the beginner players, fresh players, intermediate players, they into it and do that. It looks like a man normally walk like that, and he saw a handsome model walking nicely, and he videoed it, and he found out the handsome man model walks from here. And then he exaggerated. He was walking like that. And suddenly, after he studied the, the model's walk, he walks like this. He becomes so much exaggerated. So that's point one I'm making. Pronation is not new skill. It is already played. Somebody just identified. It's, it's not newly developed skill. Number two, pronation is needed when player is using big swing, service, big backhands big drive smash, then pronation will be in it automatically. My second point is using pronation skill and hitting the shuttlecock is just one of many skills in badminton. But when I saw the beginners, the intermediates, fresh players, they look like practicing this pronation thing looks like this is the only skill in badminton. So what's happening now? The person who's been doing that so many times, when shuttle came over there, instead of shuttle where to hit, where my opponent is moving, Instead of looking for those things, his mind is only how to hit the shuttlecock with the pronation. So look, if I do high service, I have to pronate. But if I do flick, I don't pronate. Backhands. If I do lift late, long, I pronate. But if I make a deceptive shot, no pronation. Drive. Power drive, pronation. Sharp, top drive, no pronation. Depending on the situation, players must be able to use all different skills. And pronation, full pronation, is just one of many. For example, if I am a boxer and somebody told me the big punch is a counter punch, this is the most powerful punch. If you do well, if you hit it with this, you can knock out your opponent. 
and this player every day just to practice this. My question, if he play boxing match, he used 1,000 punches, how many times he will hit his opponent with this action? How many times he will be able to use this in one boxing match? No, not many. In order to use uh, for him to do this one, he needs smaller ones. In badminton, same. There are so many small, but very important skills there. But I, it's uh, frustrating for me, especially the players who are new to badminton, every day just to do that. There. And the last point. If you, my question to you, if you are into pronation, you are a fresh player, intermediate player, you, are, you have been practicing pronation so much, my question to you, are you doing pronation practice to win badminton match or are you practicing it to go to pronation hitting contest? If you want to play badminton match and want to win it, then your focus should be how to hit accurately. Forget about the pronation. And your focus should be how to hit it over there with the deception. How to read my opponent's movement, intention. That is more important than just doing the pronation only. It looks like, look, my last point, if I compare with the human work, this is a normal work, everybody work. But this is only one kind of uh, human to move A to B. There is jumping, there is a sideway, there is a zigzag. If I wanted to steal my brother's candy, I have to walk like that. If I have a bad stomach and need to go to toilet, then I have to walk differently. There are all different kinds of work, all different, all different ways to move A to B. Same in badminton. There are many different hitting skills. All different situation. Not only one kind of a pronation. So conclusion. Pronation is an important skill. It's a natural skill. You have to use it. But in order to use a pronation, normally you need time and space. And remember, there are many other skills at the time, if you try to use a pronation, that can be the wrong shot. So from now on, if you want to play badminton match and want to win, then your focus should be the one I already mentioned, rather than just doing the pronation, unless you're doing it to go to win pronation hitting contest. <laughs>